Hey guys, hope you're all doing very well. We are today going to do an update on Bitcoin. As per the last video, we mentioned about the target of 24k being the primary target. And I still maintain that that is the target that I have. No reason to suggest that we're going anywhere else but that. Um, but obviously, since the last video, I've been doing some Twitter updates because we came into 35k. And I was anticipating 35k as major support as we came down here. Yeah. And the question, the big question was, is it going to hold as support and take us to new all time highs? Or is it just going to give us a dead cat bounce and see us roll over? Okay. So following that, we saw a move up to here, which in my opinion was looking corrective. And then there was a the consideration for it to come back down to 24k from there. Obviously, it's turned out to be more complex, a more complex corrective pattern. It went up, down, and up. Uh, but again, it's looking like a three wavish move. Okay. Now, I've been mentioning to the group that this is all looking like one big consolidation. And obviously, within corrective patterns, there are various ways in which they can play out. Now, the bullish scenario was the ABCDE ascending triangle. So we've got the, this being an A, this being a B, C, D, and E. So that would obviously involve us coming up all the way up to here in a corrective nature, yeah, because obviously uh, each of these legs of the triangle would be corrective. Okay, so despite the fact that this was looking corrective coming up uh, and up to here still we were looking corrective, it didn't matter. Yeah, it could still qualify for an ascending triangle. But what was very important to me for differentiating whether we were going to see an ascending triangle or something a bit more bearish was how price finished last month, so the month of March, at the year open. Yeah, these high time frame levels are always very, very important. And you want to see where your high time frame candle closes are in relation to these high time frame levels because it tells you the general sentiment amongst investors, traders. So yeah, it's got to be taken into consideration. So we really got rejected here at the um, at the month uh, of March close uh, in respect of the year open. So the open of 2022. So that was in and around 46.2k. All right. So if we zoom in, let's go on the monthly. Here you go. If Let's go on the monthly. And as you can see, no closes above this year open. The red dotted line here is 46.2K. That is our year open of 2022. No candle closes above it. You can see we just got rejected. If you go on the weekly, you can see we did get a bit of a doji. Now, dojis of, uh, often represent a pause in the trend or they can be a turning point. And it looks to me like it's a turning point. We got rejected at this point and it looks like we're coming back down. Okay, so for me... That was the thing that really swung my opinion on whether we were going to see the ABCDE ascending triangle or what we've been previously talking about, the WXY, which is an expanding double three. So it's your initial corrective move down, your second leg, which again is corrective, and then we're looking for a third corrective move down. Yeah, previously we were anticipating, as per the last video, this to be the of this Y wave, this to be the first leg, that to be the second, and then we come down from there. Obviously, it turned out to be a bit more complex, as you can see, and I've been doing updates on Twitter with regards to that, especially in relation to this um, um, monthly close, the month of March. And so, obviously, yeah, with all of that, it still it looks like we're on for this WXY expanding double three with the target being 24k, which I'll. I've obviously discussed previously, but we'll obviously give a recap on that in a moment. So this is the primary target right now. Now, obviously, there are various Elliott Wave counts. There are limitations to Elliott Wave because it can throw out numerous counts. Now, I always like to look maybe a few weeks ahead, but no real, no more than that. Because as, as soon as you look further out than that, you've got to take into consideration the fundamentals could be completely different. OK, so the fundamentals essentially drive everything. OK, the technical analysis is our way of determining how investors are interpreting those fundamentals. OK, but the, the whole market environment could change. So there's no point saying you're know, trying to forecast years ahead what's going to happen. OK, basically, next major support, in my opinion, is 24K. At that point, we'll see how it reacts. But I, I think it would be rather foolish to hold on to a short position at 24K.
Yeah, because there's a lot of support. There's a lot of reason the bulls might step in. Even if the market is going to come below 24K, it's very likely we're going to see some kind of a bounce at 24K. Hence the reason that it would be, in my opinion, rather foolish to hold on to any short at that point. Okay. But as it's, so we're looking at a snapshot scenario right now. As it stands, we look like we're on course for a continuation of the downtrend to 24K. Um, and it's just by process of elimination. As I say, the ascending triangle, which in my opinion was the only kind of bullish scenario, which meant us holding on to 35K as a, a major swing low, that now, in my opinion, seems to be getting eliminated, especially in relation to how we reacted here at the year open. Okay, so now I believe quite firmly um, we're on course for the, the WXY. Of course, you've got to take into consideration the stock market looking incredibly weak. I think we can all see that. We can all see the troubling signs around us with inflation, uh, taxes going up, interest rates obviously forced to go up. Um, so, yeah, it's you're going to see a tightening of debt in terms of sovereign debt, corporate debt, sorry, corporate debt, household debt. All of it is all going to get really tightened and uh, yeah, this means you're going to have less liquidity and liquidity is the air for the markets. It's the oxygen for the markets. Without it, it's going to suffer. So that's why you're going to see a suffering stock market as well, in my opinion. Uh, but we'll do that in a separate video for now. Um, yeah, focusing here on Bitcoin. There's so many reasons for the selling pressure. And yeah, as I say, 24K is the target at present. Now, um, so a couple of things to suggest uh, this level being of a significant support are first of all our camera pivots. So let's bring those up. Very, very important indicator that is very much neglected amongst the majority of retail traders. But pivots are very highly used amongst professional traders. So I'm, I'm surprised they aren't used more by retail. Um, so basically over the last four years or so, so all the, all the way back here in 2018, you could see it was uh, finding really good support off of the S4. Subsequent years, so when we're on the weekly range, by the way, uh, sorry, weekly time frame, each range here, yeah, represents a year. Okay, so for the month, uh, sorry, the year of 2000, uh, sorry, 2018, we found support at the S4. Okay, 2019 resistance R4, and then as you can see, 2020 support at the S3. And then we broke out into this strong uptrend. Now, 2021, we actually closed the year above the R4. That is generally a good, strong sign. Okay, you can see the year before we closed it, we finished above the R4. It's a strong sign. So naturally, you would then look for support in the subsequent year of 2022 off of either the S3 or the S4. Hence, 35K being my initial downside target. Okay, we hit that. We then evaluate how price reacts at that point. Are we seeing an impulse to the upside suggesting directional price action taking us to new all time highs? Or are we just seeing a corrective bounce here telling us that, you know, bears are just selling their shorts and getting ready to jump back in? essentially yeah now it looks like the latter it looks like that is the case that we are going to see a continuation of the downward trend in which case the next target is the s4 which as i say sits at that 23 to 24k mark yeah so that's the first kind of support and the other very key one is the um the bitcoin futures chart there's a big very clear let's go on the daily and bring back the annotations very clear gap Let's take off the camera pivots for this. Here at, uh, again, between 23 and 24K, very clear and obvious gap, really stands out like a sore thumb. Um, so I believe price is going to gravitate into that region right there. Of course, taking out these lows is obviously tapping into a lot of liquidity also. So I certainly think we're going to take these lows out. All right. Um, so yeah, bringing us back to Bitcoin. Uh, the other high time frame indicator that we obviously have to pay close attention to is the 20 week simple moving average. So let's just go on the weekly, bring on our simple moving averages, take off the other ones, leaving just the 20 and removing the other annotations here. So very key. If you just look back at the history of the 20 week simple moving average, you can see how it often holds on to the trend coming down here also up held the trend really nicely down we stayed beneath it we did intertwine a little bit between uh, through it there before it held on to the uh, the uptrend here and again we're intertwining again 
but as you can see eventually you want to see generally the bias is obviously if you're above it great start looking for long positions beneath it you've got to be really cautious and now you can see we did close one okay two weeks above the 20 week simple moving average but as you can see looking at the candles looking at the yearly open these closes were not convincing of any really major strength coming in and you can see we've just come straight back beneath the 20 week simple moving average so that would be the first thing if you want to invalidate this kind of bearish whole bearish scenario and look out for the kind of ascending triangle once more you need to see it get right back above this 20 week simple moving average that's the first thing you'd want to see okay really key high time frame indicator you want to see price above that if you know we, we're going to see some kind of strong uptrend okay so very key indicator as you can see just wanted to highlight here that we are currently sitting beneath it all right so just taking off the moving average now and yeah the other thing if we just home in a little bit on this shorter time frame price action this move up no part of it looks impulsive no part of it looks directional suggesting that we're going to new all-time highs at this point here there was the argument we're just going up in a kind of corrective manner all the way potentially up to this you know previous all-time high to make this potential ascending triangle because obviously in an ascending triangle this d leg does not have to be impulsive okay so that's the only way i could justify any potential strength in bitcoin the, the possibility of an ascending triangle as i say the reaction here at the year open um with the monthly close of march tells me we're probably losing that scenario yeah which then eliminates that scenario which then leaves us with the next most likely scenario which in my opinion is the wxy so that's how we often work with elliott wave you've got to often eliminate various counts and then you're left with one so and that it gives you more prob probability with regards to your moves so with this move up there is a small pitchfork that we were adhering to also so we can just take a look at that so that's this one here so with the pitchforks take your first pivot second and third shift pitchfork uh, classically holds on to your corrective moves and you can see absolutely bang on we hit the upper median line and we got rejected we're now at the median line and it looks like we're about to plow through that as well so yeah i, I can't see you know i think that this has terminated this uh, pitchfork to be honest i think that that three-legged move up typical corrective bounce into the year open rejection off the upper median line and the year open uh, and then we continue the downward trend so and on top of that stock markets are also looking weak so it's a i know it's a big call because we currently sit all the way up at 40k but i do think we drop down to 24k obviously you know i'll be updating if the kind of general outlook changes and obviously keep an eye out on twitter also as i often like to do updates there but um yeah, so I just wanted to highlight the corrective pitchfork adhered to very, very nicely. Again, supportive of the fact that this is just looking like a corrective uh, bounce that we've seen here. So I've mentioned within the group that what I would want to see, you know, in order to kind of suggest that we are going to continue up and see some strength within Bitcoin again. One, get above the 20-week simple moving average. Two, let's get above the year open, 46.2K. And really... The ideal scenario would be us breaking above this upper median line right here. Okay, so these are the kind of things I'll be looking out for for invalidation of this move, which I see as being most likely taking us to 24k. Yeah, we would need to see these things, as I say, above the 20 week simple moving average, above the upper median line, above the uh, year open. All these things would need to be triggered in order for me to flip my bias. So, as I mentioned, yes, we could come lower than 24k. We'll have to reevaluate at that point. Yeah, I don't like I don't believe in using Elliott Wave, you know, too far ahead. As I say, the fundamentals could significantly change and I consider the fundamentals greater than Elliott Wave. Simple as that. So um yeah, I think I've mentioned pretty much all the things that I wanted to mention here on Bitcoin. Um so yeah, I think we'll probably wind it up there and for any of you who do want to actually further your education obviously just a reminder that i do have my full educational course this is my website wave618.com uh, my products are here um, so on the left we've got the works basically everything that i've learned in trading put concisely into a series of modules videos and pdfs all contained within here uh, there is a discount that you'll find in the link 
to this uh, so in the description to this video um, if you want a more kind of focused educational course is this one uh, obviously a smaller price and then obviously if you're interested not just in the education but regular updates on crypto this I cover every week in detail Bitcoin along with the top 50 market caps. If you want to track what's going on, see when we're coming into major support, see if anything changes you know, before I kind of update on YouTube, Twitter, whatnot. This is where I do it. And um, obviously it also includes the works and the juice. So maybe something to consider. But yeah, these things are all there. By clicking on any of these, you'll get more details about what each one of them is uh, contains. So... If interested, then I look forward to seeing you on the other side. But uh, until then, take care.